hempcrete has this wonderful capacity because of the lime in the binder to really work with uh, the moisture vapor in the air. So if you're creating moisture vapor inside of the space, which a lot of people don't realize you do quite a bit of, the hempcrete will balance that. It will, it will take that moisture or give it back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are right along the Delaware Water Gap at the Hempstead in Pennsylvania. We've got Cameron McIntosh here with Amara Schomp and wow, do they have some really cool things going on. This is a up and running farm in so many different ways, including hemp building materials. So I cannot wait to show you what you've got going on. Yeah, cheers. Thanks. Thank you guys so much for being here. When I think of hemp building materials, innovation, cool things going on, you guys definitely come to mind. You're absolutely making pathways for others to come in and you know do this type of thing themselves. We're a full service installer. We're set up as a, an insulation subcontractor uh, that focuses specifically on this type of hemp-based biocomposite insulation. Hempcrete is a little bit misleading. Um, it implies a similarity to concrete. First and foremost, it's an insulation. Uh, it's not meant to be structural. Uh, although it does replace everything in a traditional wall system except for the frame of the building. So uh, everything from the vinyl siding, uh, house wrap, plywood, insulation, drywall, uh, that whole wall system is replaced by this one uh, insulation material. It's also naturally mold, mildew, rot, pest, and fire resistant, probably most remarkably um, damn near fireproof. You're literally uh, creating a mass in the wall uh, that, you know, is, is very, very quick to absorb and hold energy, but very slowly dissipates it. So it's actually, it's got some, you know, dynamic thermal properties that make it more performant than a traditional foam bat or, you know, rigid type insulation. Hempcrete has this wonderful capacity because of the lime in the binder to really work with uh, the moisture vapor in the air. So if you're creating moisture vapor inside of the space, which a lot of people don't realize you do quite a bit of, the hempcrete will balance that. It will it will take that moisture or give it back, um, which is one of the wonderful aspects of the lime. So, so, so yeah, so the, the plaster allows it to do that. And you finish both the inside and the outside with plaster, just a little bit different of a technique. Uh, and it makes it watertight, but vapor permeable, if that, if that wow. makes sense. As it progresses, the entire planet in every way progresses. Right. How do we move the plant forward in regards to an industrial side of things? I think building materials are definitely one. Composite plastics, working the herd into a plastic mix. Hemp wood on your floor. It could be a hemp fiber bat insulation in your in your ceiling. Right. There's small steps to be hemp taken. Paper. Hemp paper is Absolutely. another massive one. It's it's really on the farmers on the on the fiber industrial side. We've got a literal 80 year gap in knowledge, know how, you know, capability in in farming for fiber industrial. Whereas the cannabinoid side has 30, 40 years of good recent experience, albeit right. gorilla experience, there is <laughs> right. there is great experience on how to produce the cannabinoid part of the plant, but that is such a small portion of the promise of the plant. In addition to all of those wonderful things, it's also sustainable, renewable, it's healthy, non-toxic. It's just a really wonderful material to use to build a home that replaces a lot of the traditional toxic uh, building materials that you find in, you know, traditional modern American construction.